Welcome uh, to a tutorial on how to do wireless debugging on Android. Uh, we're going to go through a couple of ways to do this. You don't need a wire, obviously. You don't need it for the first time you set it up uh, completely wireless. You do, however, need Android version 11, so just FYI. Um, so with that out of the way, uh, go to your system and we're going to go to developer options. So yours might be in a different spot. Um, under USB debugging, you will find this new option. I'll just turn it off for now. But if you go in there, um, you can make modifications, connect and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it back on. Um, if you are using Android Studio um, 4.1.1, which at this time is on the um, stable, the versions, I think, um, you will need to use terminal. So we're gonna go through that. There's another versions where you don't need to use terminals, but you will need a more specific Android Studio that I will go through later using QR, QR codes and stuff. Um, so for this one, we will need ADB. So make sure you're in the platform tools folder um, we're gonna run a simple command in there um, so first let's go ahead and click on the pairing with code it's gonna give you some stuff here um, the IP address and port and the pairing code let's go ahead and type that stuff in and only thing changed for me is this thing here the port and you do need to be under the same wireless network, the phone and the computer at the same time. Uh, so make sure that is the case as well. So I put that in there. It's going to ask me for a pairing code. Let me get my visor up here. So I'm connected through wire, but uh, if I connect through here, see if that works, uh, you'll see that I got a different connection now. And that's the one that we just did through wireless. I had it connected through wire just so we can see the screen recording. Um, and in a very weird way, weird way, now you got the two debugging. One of them's wireless and one of them's USB. So probably don't need two of them, obviously, but well, there you go. Um, so that's how you do it wireless. I'm gonna go ahead and um, forget my computer for now. Uh, but yeah, you do also need to be on the same wireless network. Um, so that's what I am right here. Same thing under there. So make sure it's the same one. If you're using uh, multiple different frequencies, make sure you're on the same one as well. Um, so that's it for the terminal uh, version. We're also going to look into how to do it through a more convenient way with Android Studio. Um, there is now a option down here when you go ahead and like select your devices and it's going to give you an option to do QR code and pairing code. Um, this one's very simple in the same manner. We're going to go to wireless debugging. Um, you can do the pairing code, which is exactly what we would have there. If you click on this, it's going to show up. Um, sure pair. 881580 you can pair over there and now again i have two debugging wireless and usb i'm going to go ahead and forget or you could also do it with a qr code let me get this out of here um so we can just use a camera and that got connected as well uh, so three different options uh, for the more convenient ones um, you will need to use this specific Android Studio maybe most likely by the time you watch this it will be available in this stable channel uh, why did it not come up uh, Arctic Fox right now um, but if you're using the older version, um, the 4.1.1, which is in the stable channel, Android Studio, 
uh, this one, then you will need to use terminal. But using these options, you no longer have to get up and grab your wire that's downstairs. You can just wirelessly debug and it works fairly well. So hopefully that helps somebody. And thank you for watching. Like and subscribe.